Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this other tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to move a live site to localhost. By live site I mean a website that is already running on any server and it can be accessed by anyone. And by localhost I mean downloading that website or having that website in a local uh, development environment on your computer. It may be via WAMP, ZAMP or using MAMP or even when you are using local by flyweb. Uh, I hope that your live website is already running WordPress and uh, also I want you to make sure that you have WordPress installed on your local server. So that means uh, once you have WordPress running on both platforms, I want you to log into your live website and then once you log into your live website, and boom, this is the dashboard of the live website. On the other hand, I want you also to log into the dashboard of your local host or your local uh, website, your local WordPress website that is installed on your computer. So heading back to the live website, I want you to go under plugins and then install plugins. And what I want you to do here is I want you to go and look up for a plugin called WP Vivid Backup Plugin. Like add new plugin, then you search WP Vivid Plugin. So once you search it up, it will just come over WP Vivid. The beauty about this plugin is that it's totally free and you can schedule backups, you can backup to your local server, you can backup to uh, cloud platforms but the most other amazing feature about this plugin is that you can do remote backups from server to server so that's why I like it and uh, most of the features that are actually free in this plugin the other plugins they have actually to pay for them so that's why I prefer to use this plugin once you have this plugin installed and activated you just come down here on the sidebar look up for WP Vivid Backup what now we need to do is to back up our website, the whole website that we are going to move. Uh, once we back it up, then we can download it to our computer and have that backup or we have that website installed in our local environment. So what you just need to do is come here to backup and restore and then we back up the whole website, the database and all the files. So I just say backup. So here it will run the backup so 100% backup finished and now we can just come down here and check up for our you know backup we can even scan for already other uploaded backups and all that stuff once you have your backup then you can download that backup to your local computer once you download that backup you'll have it here in the downloads folder and you are good to go once you have that backup on your computer, then you head over to your local uh, to your local environment. You head to plugins and also look up for that plugin, WP Backup, add it up and install it. I'll just have to activate since I have it installed. And then I will just head straight down here and I say upload. Because at the moment, this is how our website looks like. It's the default WordPress theme running and what we need is to have this website which is our live website we want it to come to our local environment this is it so we are basically moving this whole website so once we have that backup plugin activated we just need to move down here come over to uh, you just come over to upload and then um, you select you know select the files you want to upload then we look up for our already downloaded uh, backup it's down here today then so it will take a few minutes so once your upload is finished here it will tell you that the upload is done after the upload is done it will appear in the backups and uh, once it appears in the backups, then we just say restore. Once we hit restore, then we just say continue to restore our website and we are good to go. 
uh, the plugin detects automatically either site restoration or migration, replacing the domain name based on the current domain name. If the domain name in the backup file is same as the current one, it starts restoring. On the contrary, restoring backup means to replace with the current domain name. The precondition is that the backup is created on a later version. Oh, now we are logged out, so we need now to log in. And uh, what I wanted to mention is that the login details will be the ones that you had used on your live site. Password here admin dot make as the user then i log in this is uh, how it is for us now we just want to check how now this website looks on our local environment by simply hitting uh, refresh so let me just visit the new link and then we can compare the two the before on the local hosts and the after wow we have moved our website from the live server to a local host environment. You can easily log in, you can do any edits in this website. You realize also that the website name changes. Uh, not this, before it was great sites. Now it is the name of the live site that was hosted, but now on the local environment. And if we compare the two, the before and after. So the beauty is that you don't have to have any technicalities, you don't have to uh, invest a lot of time uh, to do simple backups and website restoration. So you could check out that amazing plugin uh, called WPVVid for your next website migration and restoration. That's it all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on new videos when I push them out. Thank you so much and see you in my next video.